You found another woman at the bottom of the stairs? Let's have been complaining for weeks. For weeks about these, these migraines. We're four weeks out. How could you not tell me? It was 20 years ago in Germany. Why would I even think of it? In the show, David knows that Martha and Margaret's mother died of a brain aneurysm. Why would he dig any further than that? And in Michael's defense, why would he think of telling David? Because in his mind, he didn't commit murder, or like, that's the way he's presenting it. Like, I didn't commit murder. Why would I tell you about it? I left Liz very much alive and on her way to bed. Next morning, the girl's nanny woke us up to tell us she'd found Liz at the bottom of the stairs. In my conversation with David Rudolph, I never questioned whether or not he questioned Michael's innocence. David Rudolph genuinely believes Michael's innocent. If there's anything you want to say about your mother's death, now is the time to say it. Wait, which mom's death? The thing to also remember about these two girls is at this point in their lives, they do not have their biological father, they do not have their biological mother, and they do not have their stepmother or their ex-stepmother. Michael Peters is the last parental figure in their life. And there's a real fear that they're gonna lose that. So much of what drives them is like protecting that, that person. It is kind of a weird coincidence that we've had two moms die at the bottom of the stairs. I think that Sophie and I were both trying to play this scene quite literally, and the note that Tony gave that was eventually like the one that kind of unlocked something for me is that he, he asked me to scare her. Just stop questioning everything. Just stop. I can't, I can't, I can't. It was extremely liberating. And specifically in that scene that both Sophie and I had done so many times because of the auditions and callbacks and stuff, which is kind of a, a really wonderful experience to be able to have. The pillar of who Todd is, is to make his dad happy and to hope that his dad is proud of him. So as much as these details about affairs or relationship with other men and escorts and all these different things thwart to throw off an individual, he tries to keep his cool. What's he doing? No, I'm just going through autopsy reports. It's totally normal. Nothing's normal anymore. There's the, the scenes with Nate in the bathroom stall of doing the drugs, and they have this face-to-face -face moment. What I'm starting to realize is that people are just people. What are you talking about? She's my dad's complicated. I think hearing things about his father and his life, he's starting to wonder, is that something that I'm also feeling or doing? It's really tough to say what he's going through, but it's just, a, I think, a mix of emotions. I met Antonio in 2006, and we just hit it off. And he started talking, he was like, did you watch The Staircase? I was like, oh my God, I loved it. Like, I was obsessed with it. And he's like, I want you to play Freda Black. It's an honor to pay tribute to their life. Do you know anyone else who might have slept with Michael Peterson? I related to her, you know, this woman in a man's world. We're going toward a long form examination of justice, love, relationships, and it's all very grown up.